بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از حافظ مضم الرحمٰن ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ وی کین پریڈکٹ دا اسٹرکچر آف آر پروٹین سیکوینس اینڈ وی یوز دا ہومولوجی بیس ماڈلنگ اور سم وٹ وی ہیو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا تھریڈنگ ایز ویل بٹ ایف یو ہیو اے سیکوینس آف اے پروٹین اینڈ یو ڈونٹ ہیو any much information available about your sequence and there are no sufficient homologs available in the PDB protein database or any other database so what you will do there is another method by which you can predict the structure of your protein and that is if you have a sequence available then the server look up look at the sequences of the amino acids and they check each and every amino acid and then they try to orient it or try to make a structure or orientation of that uh, amino acid in a minimum energy potential and in such a way they are able to predict the protein structure this is called ab initio modeling but there are two main companies which made this very easy for you and one is the rosetta fold server or rosetta fold and other is alpha fold and you know the protein folding problem that was very big problem in the life sciences scientists were working on the protein folding problem and i mean if you have a sequence of a protein then how this sequence will fold into the three dimensional structure this was very important questions on which scientists were working from a decades and this is called protein folding problem to fold a protein in a proper way to get a very good structure that was very difficult and if uh, and the structure which are available today that they, they are very very minimum and a lot of structure a lot of proteins which have the sequences but their structure is not available even today so by solving these things alpha fold and rosetta fold they have done a tremendous job so i will tell you today how these two rosetta fold and alpha fold work and how you will be able to protein to struct uh, uh, how you will be able to predict the structure of your protein if you have a sequence of your protein and first of all let's move toward the rosetta fold when you will type on the google rosetta fold server so this link will open and just click on it then this page will be opened and you can go here for licensing and download and when you will click on this there this page will open and in this page there are information available to download this rosetta or rosetta fold server so here this is the academic download version and if you will click over here so the page will open in which you will resist you will have to download their version but before this you will have to register yourself with the rosetta then you will be able to download it and install it and what is the rosetta fold but if you don't want to install on your machine local machine then there is an alternative available to predict the structure by using the rosetta fold as well so what is the rosetta fold and how it works there is the 
if you will type the Rosetta Fold paper on the Google. So they will show this paper which they have published the Rosetta Fold published the paper in which they give all the information how they predicted the model and how the Rosetta Fold work. So this was published in the science, science journal. So this is the information available and the three main things which are important in the Rosetta Fold that is the neural network. It means if you will submit your sequence or you will give the sequence of your protein to the server, the server will check, the software will check simultaneously the pattern of the amino acid of your protein and then the pattern is again very important and the other factor which they will consider that will how these amino acid how the how the sequence of amino acid is able to interact with one another I mean if you have a sequence of your protein the server first will check the pattern of the protein sequence and then the second thing it will analyze how these amino acid can interact with one another and the third they will try to predict the possible three dimensional structure which will be energy minimized so they have predicted a very good structures and then they made the available their code on the github website as well but if you want to make it easier for you so you can use their server which is called rubeta what is rubeta if you will type on google rubeta so this page will open rubeta protein predicting channel you will have to make yourself register over here and then you will have to log in it is very easier to register on the rubeta like i'm just showing it very quickly to you rubeta so this is the baker lab rubeta so this page is will open and then if you are not registered so you will have to register yourself in this server so i have already registered myself so therefore this they are showing my name mozambil so i have logged in through my registered login id so when you will log in then you will have to go over here structure prediction and then you will you will have to click on the submit so then this window will open and if you have a structure of your protein as we were discussing the structure of NS7A of the SARS-CoV-2 so I have this structure I have the sequence of this protein I got it from the uni plot and you can also get any of the sequence this is my sequence I will just copy it and here I will just paste it sorry I will just paste this sequence which I have copied from the Uniport copy and paste it over here You can give the name of this target like in this case we are just going to give the name prot whatever you want to give the name it is very it's up to you so just paste your sequence over here <clears throat> and there are many features in the uh, this rubeta the first one is the rosetta fold and you will hover your cursor on this question mark then it will show how this 
portion or how this module work so i have over my structure over here so you can see it like this this is the default option that uses a deep learning based modeling method it is a deep learning based uh, modeling method or uh, it is a part of artificial intelligence so rosetta fold suggest the most accurate method provided by this server and this is when you will hover or, or your mouse or, or your mouse over here so this this feature is this is this use a deep learning based modeling method tr rosetta rosetta fold typically outform this method and recommended over this method so there are different things and this is comparative modeling method if uh, selection select this option if you want to run comparative modeling if you want to run comparative modeling you will select this option you will have to check over here click over here it will be checked and then the server will search for the homologs in the pdb or if you want to give your own pdb template so you can give it and this is the this is if you want to skip the comparative modeling so there is again another option this is recommended if you have target you have such protein sequence which have no homologs in the pdb then your target will start extending chain and that is ab and show fra rosetta fragment assembly so i have told you what is ab and show if you don't have any proper homolog in the pdb so you will go for the ab initio method and in ab initio method the server will check the protein uh, amino acid the, the amino acid of protein and then it will try to orient it into the minimum energy orientation so in in this way it will build a model so uh, there are another uh, uh, algorithm as well in 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 uh, ab initio they they use the trimer trimer mean they use the three amino acid sequence the three unit three unit of amino acid and they check whether these three amino acid sequence is available in any other protein structure and then they will check how these three are built it into the or modeled into that structure if whether they these three amino acid make the helix they make the beta plated sheet they make the loop so then the server will make accordingly and then it will search for the for those for that structure which has a minimum energy so this is ab and isho uh, method and then this one is the last that is the predict domain if you want to select this option if you want to predict the domain of your protein so these are different module which are present onto the rubeta so i'll click on this 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 is the rubeta fold i have click on the rubeta fold sorry rosetta fold and i have already told you this is a very good server so it work on the three things the neural networks which search the pattern of your uh, of of the amino acid sequence and then it check how these amino acid interact with each other uh, with one another and what why this interaction is important because the in, with this interaction the protein try to fold itself so this is again what we were talking about the protein folding problem so by this you can solve this protein uh, folding problem and you will be able to predict the three dimensional structure of your protein so by clicking this if you want to keep your job private you don't want to show anybody uh, your job on the server so you you can click here and type this uh, the answer of this mathematic question this is 5 
and then submit it oh yes my job has been submitted with this id and you can track the prediction it get 15 minutes to maybe some hour or maybe 30 minutes it depends on the sequence of your protein but it is but you there is no need to worry you will have just wait and you can track your job by clicking this id so when you will the result will here so you will be able to get your protein so for the sake of your ease i'll just show you how these result are shown when the job will be completed this type of window will open in which your sequence which you have given to the server this will be present and then you can find out where the beta pleated sheet are present where the uh, alpha helix are present in your protein so it will shown over here the secondary structure properties and then in this video uh, in this window your model will appear your predicted model will be appear this is your predicted model so you can find out these five models they will show you the five model this is this was the first model and i have clicked on the second one and then you can click on the third one and so on and this is the angstrom error estimation and this is the position and you can check which amino acid and when you will hover over your mouse over here so it will show you the number of the amino acid and here in that in the other video uh, in the other window like this that will be highlighted like i ha have hovered the mouse over here and the the pro the model video you have shown the proline 79a and then this is the glutamine glycine so you can check the angstrom error estimate as well and after getting getting this model you can validate the model by the ramachandran plot uh, verify 3d and that i have discussed in my previous video so this was the very very good server by which you will be able to predict your protein structure in my next video i'll talk about how you will be able to use the alpha fold so keep tune my channel and if you want some more video and you want uh, some more uh, topic to discuss and you want to learn the computer edit drug discovery as well you can uh, comment in the uh, comment section and or you can email me i'll make the video on that specific topic so subscribe my channel and be happy stay blessed bye bye